Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video. It's a beautiful channel, it's a beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? I figured out the problem because I was dumb as hell, and I bet you guys saw this before I did. But the problem was in this code right here. So, first of all, I did this correctly, but I didn't specify this level, this rarity, and stuff. So now it uses the random level and the random rarity to calculate the buy value which was working on the buy tab but obviously not in the sell tab because the sell tab was taking the player's inventory what it used to say here was minus 8 and minus 4 for the where I put the 10 but I calculated this manually and I saved it here because this item was saved and randomized when this was wrong when this whole thing was wrong that's why it was saved in a wrong in a wrong way in a faulty fashion so uh, now everything should be working mm, as I find new items will will you know we'll, we'll get them and we'll do stuff but at uh, the buy value I want to add actually something so I want to add uh, I want to do that this level plus this uh, rarity plus this so I'm gonna do that that means that we'll never have something that is zero it will be at least one alright so it'll be at least one mm. uh, it will give us a little more of a price on that uh, so if I run this and we say that I travel and I want to buy something we'll say that the price is 23 price is 23 here 23, 65, 44, 127, and so on. So it depends on the the item. Now I don't like the way this is being printed out because it's like kind of weird. 65 and stuff. It's it's kind of weird. Mm, so to fix that, I would like to make a new line on that buy value thing. So in event, the price is going to say at the bottom. Um, I don't know if it's going to look good, but at least it won't look as weird, I think. I'm not sure. Mm. Plus, I don't think I need this then. Plus a new line, price. So how does this look? Good Lord, have mercy on my uh, So if I want to buy, so okay, so this is like zero. I don't see some price, angel balls, price, mm, price, price, price. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Uh, much easier to read, at least for me. Mm, 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 mm. Okay okay all right all right all right all right that's good that's good now for selling I'll just get it in I'll get the price everything like that uh, get a string and then I think the sell value will be on it but that's gonna be hard to read as well travel sell okay so sell value is 10 Value is 10. Let's go into character actually. Go into character. Where's get a string? Mm -mm -mm. Get a string. Get inventory as string. So I'm gonna do the two string for the item, and the items two string is gonna give me the sell value right here. Nah, what if we just remove the value? How do, how was it? Wait, value. So let's do this. No, there we go. Do that. And then in the shop, I'm going to add the sell. Because this is where you want to actually have the sell value. 
come out. You want to see what it is. So plus value and then to string character. So wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. I actually want to do that. So if it's a shop, then we're going to do it this way. Uh, new line. Let's go into character. This is get inventory a string. To string plus new line plus there we go value uh, cell value mm, to string character uh, this inventory at position i dot get cell value and then a new line what the hell is going on here plus a new line i guess so that's good I don't think this should do the new line though. There we go. So this will give us the value as we get inventory as string. And then we'll say, uh, let's see. Hmm. Bull shop. False. We'll give it a. Wait, we'll give it a default value of false. And then we'll go into shop. And we'll say bool shop equals false. And then if shop else is going to do it the regular way, which was just this to string. Pretty sure this should work because we have a default. We don't have to change it anywhere else. It's just it's fine wherever it is. So if I go into character sheet and I say print inventory. Okay, I do have I do need a plus <coughs> new line here. Uh, new line, and then once that is done, good. plus a new line for the another oh yeah for another plus a new line so I just want to make sure I know where all my new lines are there we go cell value and then another new line all right cool uh, all right get a string so let me just run that. There we go. Uh, let's do character sheet, print inventory. Good. Let's go to zero. Go to travel. Buy. All right, price worked. Sell. All right, that worked as well. Not, no, it didn't because I didn't do. Mm, 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 in event get in with string true now we'll see sell all right sell value 10 20 okay cool 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 all right all right all right that's good buy all right so now we have to do whoops now we have to do this again right here choice and then the sin fail and everything and then the ignore so in in buy it's gonna print out the inventory and then we're gonna have to make a choice we're gonna have to say uh, 
which by item. Uh, inventory choice choice of item don't need all this though I think don't need all this choice of item and then once we get a right correct choice it's gonna be while well, choice is greater than merchant in dot size and choice is less than zero we'll have a problem uh, and then we'll have a correct choice at the end so mm -mm -mm -mm. then we'll see let's see uh, character dot add item merchant in at position choice <clears throat> okay and then we'll say see out see out part item part item merchant in at position choice that get name new line like that and then minus we'll say minus uh, how much money would that be that would be position choice dot get buy value there we go now we have to check if we have money so character now get get gold so if character dot get gold is greater or equal to merchant choice dot get by value that means we can afford the whole item all right so we can afford it and we'll be able to do all this stuff so <coughs> character dot set gold I guess or gain gold uh, how do I do it with the rest so game rest rest gold character so if it worked pay gold rest cost all right pay gold event character dot pay gold get by value okay and then we will add the item and then merchant in at position choice no merchant in wait what the hell did I just do okay we'll remove that so after I buy the item I'm gonna say merchant in that remove item at choice at choice there we go good and then I bought that item so that's good that's good I added it and I bought it and I removed it so if it's okay so and if we can't afford it see out can't afford of this item new line okay so that that way we can buy stuff uh, 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 and as we go in here in the shop menu and we're in the buy menu now Let's see out buy menu 
uh, new line, new line. And then we're gonna see out character dot get gold. New line, new line. This is good to know, right? Uh, and then say gold, just like that. Gold. Let's see how this works. All right. Let's see what happens now. So if I want to buy something. I have 112 gold. Number of which item do I want? Hmm, I want to buy a nice weapon. Weapon. Oh, we, we there are no weapons. It's just chests and armors and stuff. But whatever. Okay, I want to buy the first item. So bought item iron sheets. And if I get out of here, you left the shop. I want to go into my character sheet and I go into print inventory. Now I have the iron sheets thing and then we leave. We go into travel again. Oh, we found a shop. Let's sell it. Oh God, look here. Wow. We have something that has a sell value of 22. So just like that. And then we'll leave. You left the shop. Boom. Um, let us just do that instead. You left the shop. Uh, wait. Let's do both, actually. There we go. That's a little better. And then, cool. So we, we can buy items. That's fine. Choice of item. I'm thinking there should be a... This gold thing should be here as well. Kind of like this. Gold. Just to remind you how much gold you have. Otherwise it might be a little problematic all the time. Trying to go up and look for the gold. Um, so that's good. Now, what else do I want to do? Uh, it's 17 minutes. All right, so we'll do sell in the next video, and then we'll pretty much be done with the shop. Uh, and for now, I hope you learned something. I hope I did it in a good way. I'm pretty sure you can do it in a better way, but I just did it the best way I could. Thanks for watching, as always. Thanks for all the support. I hope you guys are learning. I hope you guys are taking care. And and yeah, yeah, hell yeah, I appreciate all of the support. So take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.